If you've ever sprained your ankles, then you know how much of a bummer it is to not have the use of one of your feet. Well, I'm here to help. And here's seven exercises that you can use to help with your ankle sprain. Hey there, Coach Tyler here. And today I'm gonna to talk about the best seven exercises for ankle sprains. And the reason why I wanna share this is because ankle sprains are so common and yet very few people know how to approach rehabilitating. And even fewer know how to make sure your ankles are strong, balanced, and flexible so you don't injure them again. The good news is rehab is simple with these steps. So here's how this video is going to work. I broke this video down into three parts. In the first part, I'll go over your feet and how to make your feet smarter so you can avoid spraining your ankle in the first place. In this part, I'll show you my favorite exercise for creating stability in the foot and ankle that you can literally do while brushing your teeth. Next, in part two, I'll go over my favorite exercise for strengthening your feet and ankles and give you a beginner, intermediate, and advanced variation of this exercise so you can continue to strengthen your ankles even after they feel back to normal. Finally, in part three, I'll go over how to make sure your feet and ankles are flexible by showing you my favorite stretch as well as three different variations that you can use to make your ankles more mobile and more resilient at the same time. Now, before we get to the meat and veggies of this video, let me first go over your ankles and how sprains can often happen. Okay, one more thing before we dive in. I do want to mention that it's a good idea to check in with your healthcare provider to make sure that the exercises I'm gonna share with you in this video are appropriate for you. The fact is, I don't know what kind of ankle sprain you have, and so I don't want to give advice that's counter to what your doctor recommends. After you do that though, feel free to implement all three parts and try out all seven exercises so you can say goodbye to ankle sprains once and for all. If you've ever sprained your ankle, then it's likely that your feet aren't as smart as they could be. What that means is, as you walk, as you run, as you move through your life, your feet should be detecting the ground underneath you and adjusting and using the muscles of your calves and your knee and your hips and the flexibility of those joints to prevent getting injured. The problem is, from a very young age, we put our feet inside shoes. And when we do that, all of the points of the feet that are used to receiving information and telling the other muscles how to move turn off. And it can often cause ankle pain, knee pain, hip pain, back pain. So how do you make your feet smarter? Well, we practice allowing the feet to become smarter. The easiest way to do that is by standing on one foot. And I know this sounds silly, but you'd be surprised if all you did was lift one leg and find your balance standing on one foot and slowly work up to the point where you can stand on one foot for an entire minute in a way that feels controlled and not all wobbly all over the place. You're gonna have a lot of ankle strength and you're gonna make your feet significantly smarter. Now, you don't have to set a timer to do this. In fact, one of the best ways to create a habit around an exercise like this is to anchor it to something that you already do. And my favorite way to do it is to do it while you're brushing your teeth. So, assuming that you brush your teeth every single day, go ahead and spend one minute trying to stand on your left foot while you're brushing your teeth, and one minute trying to stand on your right foot while you're brushing your teeth. If you do this every single day, slowly but surely, you will build better and better balance. And when you do that, that's your feet communicating with your brain on how the rest of your body needs to move in order to create that balance. This one thing will do amazing wonders for your ankles, your feet, your knees, and your hips. So make sure you practice it every single day. Real quick, before we go to part two, where I'll share my three favorite exercises for strengthening your feet and ankles, I wanted to ask you for a real quick favor. If you're enjoying this content, I wanna see more videos just like this. Then take a moment right now to click the subscribe button and then click that little bell icon. When you do this, you'll get a notification every time we release a new video. And it helps us get noticed more, which we really appreciate, and our videos will help you transform your body faster. Okay, let's go on to part number two. If you want strong and resilient ankles and feet, 
then you need to practice an exercise that helps you strengthen those feet. My favorite exercise for this is called the calf rock, where you extend all the way up on your toes and then bring your toes all the way to your nose. And there's three different variations to try. The first one, which is a beginner variation, is called the seated calf rock. And so what you wanna do is bring your butt to the edge of a chair, try to put as much pressure in your feet as possible. What you're gonna do is lift your toes towards your nose, so lift them up as high as possible, and then press your toes on the ground and extend those feet as much as you possibly can. And you should feel these calf muscles working when they go down and these shin muscles working when they go up. Now the calves are a very strong muscle and are made for lots and lots of repetitions because we stand up and walk all day. So try to do this exercise for at least one minute. Two minutes would be even better. And the more often you do it, the stronger your feet and your calves and your ankles will become. Now, you can put more pressure by putting your hands on your knees or by leaning more forward. But if this gets too easy, then you can go to what's called a standing calf rock. Now this one requires some degree of balance. So if you need to, when you're getting started, you can grab a wall or a chair or something to help you stay balanced. But if you don't, go ahead and bring your feet right underneath your hips with the toes facing straight forward. And then you're gonna rock backwards, bringing your toes towards your nose, and then up as high as you can on the balls of your feet. And you're gonna go back and forth again for anywhere between one to two minutes and repeat this as frequently as you can. You can do this throughout the day. You can do this every day if you want. At bare minimum, try to do this at least three days a week for two minutes. And once this starts to feel really easy, meaning you can do them for two minutes, no problem, then we're gonna move on to the hardest variation, which is called the one leg standing calf rock. Now this one requires a lot of balance because you're on one leg. So if you need to, grab a wall, grab a chair, hold on to something that will give you better balance. Take your time, go slow and controlled here, and really try to lift your toes as much as you can and extend your body as much as you can on that one leg. So for this, you can keep this other foot out for the side for balance. You can come up on your heel and then up on your toes. Go as slow as you can. Like I said, it's very hard to balance on this position. And try to do one minute on the left side and then switch legs and do one minute on the right side. Again, go slow and controlled and try to get your mind in the muscles. You should feel the shins and the calves starting to get pumped and working very hard as you do each of these exercises. And when you do, you will strengthen your feet, your ankles, and your calves which will help make everything there stronger and help reduce the chances of you injuring your ankle ever again. Hey, before we get to the last part, I did wanna mention that if you like the way we break down every exercise into beginner, intermediate, and advanced variations, and if you like how detailed we are when describing how to do each exercise with perfect form, then you'll love the workouts that we send to our members at warriormade.com. That's because our workouts are like having a personal trainer built into your phone, tablet, or desktop computer. Every exercise in our workouts is customized to your individual skill level. And we use what's called a visual teaching system in our workouts to ensure that you're going to do every exercise with perfect form. And what this means for you is you can get faster results in a way that is much safer too. So to give our follow along, home workout system a try. Just click the link below and you can try it for free on me. Okay, let's jump in to part three. If you really wanna avoid spraining your ankles again, then you must make sure that your ankles are flexible. So I'm gonna show you three different stretches you can try, each one just a little bit harder than the last to make sure that you create flexibility in your ankle and stretch your calves so you can avoid straining your ankle again. The first exercise is called the standing one leg calf stretch. For this exercise, you're gonna put one foot behind you and one foot in front of you, and you're gonna try to bring your back heel towards the ground. If you're right here and you feel a stretch in your back calf, that's great. That means this is the right exercise for you. Keep moving forward as much as you can, trying to feel that stretch in your back calf. And if you need to, you can move forward and backwards very subtly, trying to get a little bit deeper each time in this position. Hold this position for at least one minute each side. The calves have a lot of endurance, which means they take a long time to stretch. Now, if you don't feel a stretch here and you can keep going forward more and more while keeping your foot flat on the ground, 
And the next variation is called the standing one leg extended calf stretch. For this, you'll need a block or a book or something that's about one or two or three inches thick, depending on your flexibility. Put this on the ground, and this time, it's the same exact exercise, only you're gonna put your foot, the ball of your foot right there, on top of the book, okay? This should make it even harder for you to do the stretch and give you even more of a stretch in your calf. Again, try to bring your hip straight forward and just come forward and backward with this back leg nice and straight and you'll feel a significantly greater stretch in your calf. Again, hold this for at least a minute because the calves are very enduring. And if this is still too easy, then we're gonna do something slightly different called the kneeling one leg calf stretch. So for the kneeling one leg calf stretch, you're gonna come down and you're gonna bring one foot forward and one foot backward in a kneeling position. You should be at about 90 degrees here and 90 degrees here. And you're gonna put your hands on top of your knee. From there, come as far forward as you can. And this time, you're not gonna feel as much of a stretch necessarily in your calf, but rather, you're gonna feel a stretch all the way through the ankle and the calf at the same time. Come as far forward as you can until you feel your heel start to lift off the ground. And then come back up nice and slow and controlled, just a little bit, and each time you go down, try to relax, try to tell that calf to relax, and just go a little bit deeper. Again, spend one minute or more on each side to really get that calf stretched out. Because when you do, when you have flexible ankles, it's gonna help you avoid injury and it's gonna make your lower legs feel significantly greater at the same time. Okay, there you have it. Seven exercises that you can use on an ankle sprain. Just follow these three parts and use these seven exercises and rehab will be simple with these steps. Also, if you wanna make sure you not only strengthen your ankles, but also that you strengthen the rest of your body, then the next thing that you should do right now is click on this video right here. Because inside this video, I'll break down the four best lower body exercises for beginners, which will help you strengthen all of your muscles in your lower body, which should help further prevent future ankle sprains. So, Make sure you click on that link right now and give those exercises a shot as well. I'll see you there.